vector. What is that? Q is done. R. R. If I draw a horizontal, can I divide? No. Vertical, can I divide? No. So this is a cross. Now S. S. If I draw a, hor uh, a horizontal, can I divide? Yes. If I draw like this, I can divide into symmetric parts, right? But this way I can't. So this is having an axis of symmetry. Now T. If I draw a vertical one, I can divide into two symmetric parts. This way I can't divide. So this is having an axis of symmetry. T is having. And U? Yes, U is also having a vertical axis of symmetry. V is also having. Same way as U. Okay? Then W? Yes, W will also have. Hmm? Just one. Okay? This way you can't do. X. X is having this way and this way. See, this is having two axes of symmetry. X. Okay? This is two. Now why? No, why you can't divide? Z? Yes. Z, you can draw a horizontal line and you can divide into symmetric parts. Okay? This is the axis of symmetry. So here you got some of them are having horizontal, some are having vertical. A, B, C, D, E, H, I, K, then which is having M is having, uh, O is having, S, T, U, V, W, X is having 2, Y is not having, Y doesn't have axis of symmetry and Z is having one axis of symmetry. So here F, G, J, K, N, P, Q, R and Y doesn't have axis of symmetry. Others are having axis of symmetry and H, I, O and X. H, I, O and X are having two axis of symmetry. Okay. So this is, so this way you did the, this is how you will solve the second problem. Okay. Now children, the third question is use color, a thread and a folding paper to draw symmetrical shapes. So this you can do yourself. Okay. Trick color. Here they have given the method how to fold the paper and make symmetric images. Okay. So do it yourself. I can't show you. It is not a, a practice set. It's not something a problem to solve. It's just a extra activity. Okay. You can do it yourself. Okay. Color, thread and folded papers okay you can make symmetrical shapes okay then observe various commonly seen objects such as tree leaf birds in flight pictures in uh, historical buildings etc find symmetric shapes among them and make a collection of them so these are things you have to observe and do okay now let us learn so this is this you can do yourself, read it and you can do yourself, okay? Now let us learn the next topic of this chapter, okay? So now you are going to learn how to draw, drawing symmetrical figures on graph paper. So this is what you are going to learn now, okay? So you need a graph paper. You already have a graph book, right? So take a, your graph book and we will draw how to learn how to draw Symmetrical figures on graph paper. Children here see this one. In this graph you can see line L. Okay. Then A, B has been drawn. And this A dash B dash is a symmetric line. Is symmetric to A, B. Now let us see how to draw this. How they have done this on the graph paper. Okay. How do you do like this? How do you draw this A dash B dash which is just symmetric to A B. I will show you. Okay. So what you have to draw, draw is. You will first draw a line like this. Okay. This is L. Huh? Now what you will draw. Just uh, take any point. I am taking this point. Okay. This is A. Huh? And here this is B. Okay. I will join those parts. Okay little slanty. Now if I have to draw this side that is symmetric to A dash B dash how what will I do? I will just measure from L what is the distance. Okay. 
here see i have drawn here it is ec see i have drawn this two blocks up from l is a so what will i do two blocks to the left side is a so two blocks to the right side will be a dash okay now b dash here no b b here is 1 2 3 so here also i will take 1 2 no 1 2 3 okay this so this will be b dash okay now what will i do i can i will join a dash and b dash like this hmm? now what is it a b and a dash b dash are symmetric okay so this is how you draw symmetric means you will draw an axis then you have to measure the distance from this axis should be same for both the lines okay both this a this point a l from a uh, distance from l to point a and distance from the l line to point a dash will be should be equal and the distance from l to b and l to b dash should be equal then only they will be symmetric okay now see we will do draw this symmetric image a uh, triangle here a triangle here okay let us do that so i will draw take the graph book again l uh, l the line l i have drawn now i'll take a point here so th let this be p hmm? then i am taking a point here this is r and a point here this is q okay now I, I if i join them i will get a triangle okay okay see now now if i want to draw a symmetric what will i do see the p p from here distance one two three three blocks so from here also i will take one two three blocks so this will be p dash okay now q q at what distance one block and half so one block and half this will be q dash now r r is at one two three four okay so one two three four on the same line okay this is r on the same line you have to go and take so in graph book only you can draw this way okay on plain books ordinary books you can't uh, measure this way okay so here this will be r dash now i if i join this p dash q dash and r dash i will get the symmetric now this p q r and p dash q dash r dash are symmetric okay they are symmetric and this is you have drawn this l line to make two symmetric shapes okay now children going to practice set 21 here they have given along each figure shown below a line l, um, l has been drawn complete the symmetrical figures by drawing a figure on the other side such that l becomes the line of symmetry okay so l is here okay now they are telling to draw some uh, another this side to complete the symmetrical figure so that l will be the axis of symmetry okay so see we can do it in this book itself see here you can see from here we'll first mark the points okay we'll start from here right same straight line you can see where does this point go where is at exact position after this dark line can you see it clearly see after this dark line the first one that means here i'm coming straight here hmm? this is dark line after this the first one okay this will be one of the points okay then so that means if i join like this now from here this point where is this point position from here it is one and this here 
what is the distance from here to here see from here we will reach the next dark line then you will go before the dark line one behind you will stop that means here this point ok so we will hold the scale like this take it down mark this point now I can join this this over here so two points we have got now we need this point right where is that point exactly the distance this much ok that is from here 1 2 you can use the centimeter and see uh, ok from here I will take I will start from I have to start from here Go this way, cross this here, over here. This is the point. Hmm? Then, then I have to draw a straight line, right? Now, where does that straight line end? We have to see. Next point here, over here. Hmm. This, I can keep the scale like this, and I can get the point here. Mm, got it. Next one. This is nearer, right? This point is nearer to the uh, to L. So let us see what is the distance from here to the next point. Then uh, how much? One, two, two points here. Mm, this point. Okay. Mm. So, I will draw this line here. Now, this has to go straight. And where will it stop? Let us see. Here, straight it will come. Over here. I have to draw a line. Okay, done. So, now you have divided this into two symmetric and this L is the axis of symmetry. Only with graph paper you can do this. Okay. In the other ones you can do make symmetric images like this. Okay. Next one here you can see something like a.